I've taught you how to attack. Today I teach you how to defend in a very aggressive way. If you're looking to really clamp down on your opponent, get in their face and make sure they can't string together more than a couple passes, then this guide is for you. First up, let's talk about timing. So you don't want to just hold the sprint button and charge in blindly. Aggressive defending is about picking the right moments. Ideally, you want to press when the opponent's player has received the ball with their back turned or is close to the sideline. These are moments when they're limited in their movement options. And that's when you want to push in with your defender. By pressing high in these situations, you close down angles and force them to make mistakes. One key skill you need to master is avoiding ball watching. Ball watching is when you focus too much on the player with the ball which leads to losing track of the rest of the game. In this clip, I was too focused on Bale forgetting about his striker making a run right behind me. What I should have done was jockey back with my Van Dyke instead of trying to rush him. And you see, I get punished for it easily. This is a common habit, especially in the lower divisions, where players often end up pulling their defenders out of position by just watching the ball instead of thinking about the other players around them. In this clip, look how I use my midfielder to defend. And even with Big Virgil, notice I don't rush him into Adama because I know this Adama has one thing in mind and that is to go for the cutback. I made a conscious decision that I was not going to press him. He then crosses the ball and look how I'm using my midfielder to put pressure on him. A good rule of thumb is to try to avoid pulling your center backs and controlling them until the last moment. Here's the issue. If you're up against a skilled player, the biggest threat isn't always the one holding the ball. It's often the player off the ball, the one making a sneaky run into space or behind your defensive line. When you only watch the ball, you miss those off-ball runs, leaving gaps that your opponent can easily exploit. So, rather than just following the ball, always keep an eye on other players around the pitch especially those making runs, to keep your defense tight and avoid leaving open spaces. When I am defending, I'm not reacting what my opponent is doing, I am proacting. Meaning, when he is dribbling, I'm trying to predict constantly where is he going to go or pass to, learn to defend and use all your player. If my winger can cover the pass or press the opponent, then I'll use him instead of pulling my midfielder from his position. This way the upper Enant gets really overwhelmed. Defending this way I found is really effective because most people when they defend, they use one player or just the defenders. Instead I use my entire team to defend, including strikers as well. And lastly guys, utilize the second man press. If you have been paying attention to every clip in this video, I have been using the second man press in almost every single clip. For those who don't know the second man press to perform, you simply hold R1 or RB and the second player in your team will press the opponent. Now there is a science to it. This is very limited and you can only utilize it for a few seconds before it runs out. What I like to do is I try bait people into using it and stop using to preserve the time I have for it. Usually, what I like doing is using my center that I am controlling to cut off passing lanes and use a midfielder to press for me, the opponent. If you feel like you're conceding goals left and right, a straightforward way to tighten up your defense is to avoid using your defenders too much. Instead, focus on defending with your midfielders. By keeping your defenders in position and using your midfielders to press or block passing lanes, you'll hold your defensive shape better and make it harder for your opponent to break through. Honestly, unless you're in Division 1 or the Elite Division, this approach won't usually get punished, and it's an effective way to reduce goals conceded. Now, I personally like controlling my defenders because it gives me more control over the back line, but it does come with a high-risk, high-reward trade-off. So if you're looking to play it safe, try sticking with midfielders for most of your defensive work. The computer in this game is really overpowered and 9 out of 10 times it will defend for you. I'm being serious. Let the computer defend for you and control your midfielders. 
Guys, thank you for all the love on the channel. We have grown a lot. And what can I say? It's all thanks to you, beauties. Until next time. And let me know in the comment what you want for the next tutorial, our passing or a skill move video. Take care, fam.